our time with Victorious, we've seen it all when it comes to love and relationships. We've even had a few ships of our own. But when those ships sailed, we witnessed more breakups than we did makeups. I'm doing homework. So you want to break up with me? Let's take a look at every breakup on Victorious ever. Starting with one we might have actually been rooting for. I'm looking at you, Andre. You and I need to talk. Okay, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> you janked my arm. Are you sassing me? Okay, that's it. What? I am sassing you. Sassing the sass ass sass. Andre! Look, I don't mean to wreck your birthday, but I don't want to go out with you anymore. Are, are you trying to dump me? Well, yeah, if that's cool with you. It was definitely cool with us, but not so cool? How about catching your boyfriend mid makeout sesh with your best friend? Nothing like a breakup with a side of betrayal. I mean, are, are you maybe still into me? No, not at all. And I love Kat. She's like the sweetest thing ever. And I'm psyched you guys are going out. I guess it's, it's just... always seemed to have bad luck with guys, and she experienced her own set of breakups. Who could forget the infamous... Ryder Daniels. Ryder, senior guy, super hot. Yeah, super hot and super terrible. Ryder was known for breaking hearts in return for getting good grades. Once Tori caught on, she broke up with him Hollywood art style. Last time Tori had to deal with some lame guy. In a crossover episode with iCarly, we witnessed Steven double crossing Carly and Tori. However, this led to one of the greatest breakups we ever got to witness on TV and on the iCarly web show. Happy 100 day anniversary. Yep. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Breakups were completely justified. Some maybe weren't so much. Yeah, we all know I'm about to show you a clip of Jade and Beck. Because you and I date, I can't be friends with other girls. You can be friends with ugly girls. <laughs> but not girls who are gorgeous socialites who text message you a hundred times a day. You know, you. Tori, Tori, can you come here? What? <laughs> if you were my girlfriend. No, oh, great way to start the question. Would you be all freaked out that I'm just friends with Alyssa Vaughn? Who cares what she thinks? Honestly, I wouldn't love it. I care what she thinks. How can you say that? You don't even... You know, I really don't want to be in the middle of this. No, you stay right no. here. No! You don't think a girlfriend should distrust her boyfriend? No, I, I do. Get out of here, Tori. I'd love to. Stay. Oh. All right, you know what? Tell me what. No, no, don't tell him what. We're done. Jade! So you're breaking up with me? No, 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 she's not. Yeah, I am. Oh, she is. You're being ridiculous. What do you care? I'm not your girlfriend anymore. Of course, this wasn't the only time Bade broke up. After constantly fighting, this couple would see its end once more. Look, I, I don't want to be your boyfriend if we're just going to fight all the time. So you want to break up? No, I, I didn't say that. I'm just saying. Are, you guys might break up because 
I'm not dating anyone, and I've always thought that Beck and I would make the perfect... <laughs> Next time, it's a hammer! Come on, Beck, take me to get some food. I'm tired of fighting. Okay. I'm gonna walk out that door, and I'm gonna count to ten. Don't forget three. <laughs> Some people forget it. If I get to ten and you're not out there, I'm going home. And we're over. Ten! It wasn't just the students who had to deal with these breakups, though. Mr. Psychowitz also had to endure heartache, one that made us all pretty sad. What's wrong? Well, see, I was dating this woman. And during the play, she sent me a text message. She dumped me, and she's moving to Fresno. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> no! No, no, I meant um, that we thought you were depressed because the play was about a high school teacher who's a sad, pathetic loser. And nothing. It seemed like Trina, who loved attention more than anything, was one of the few to go unscathed in the breakup department. Well, maybe not quite. After she spread a false rumor about dating Beck, the boys decided to team up and show her a lesson in love. Well, I heard the boys in the locker room say that Beck asked you out, so I thought I'd ask you too. Look out! <laughs> She don't want me, not you, idiot! Oh, no! continue to remind us what's most important, self-love. And also, singing a breakup is way cooler than speaking one. So which of these breakups hit you the hardest? And better yet, can you relate to any of them? We really hope not, but let us know. Sorry our lady bailed on you. It is what it is. What it is.